let universal set be 5 6 7 8 9 10 p is equal to 5 6 7 9 q is equal to 5 6 10 and r is equal to 5 and 9 find p union q so where is p here and q here so we can say this is equal to 5 6 7 9 union of q so the elements of q 5 6 and 10 so you know what is an what is a universal set the elements of either the first set the second set or of both the sets so you can say therefore p union q is equal to 5 is already there so we take it once then 6 it's also there we take it once then 7 then 9 and 10 so 5 6 7 9 and 10 uh, will be the union of p and q clear next q intersection r now we have to find the intersection between q and r so here we have q here we have r so the elements of q let's write them down so 5 6 10 intersection of the elements of r that is 5 9 so intersection means so q intersection r so intersection means the element the elements that are common in both the sets so what is common here so 5 is common between the two so we can write 5 first next anything common no so there is only one element that is common between the two so q intersection r will be 5 clear yeah? next p complement now what is p complement mathematically we know this expression is the universal set minus the set that is p so what is the universal set here let's write down the elements 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 minus the elements of p that is 5 6 7 9 so therefore we can say p complement is equal to complement means the elements that are not present in set p or we can say excluding the elements that are present in set p so here you have to see the universal set the elements that are present in set b uh, set p will just exclude them so 5 is already there so we will not take 5 6 is also there will not take 6 7 is there will not take 7 8 is there no so we'll include 8 then 9 is present there so we'll not take 9 then 10 is not present so we'll take 10 so the elements of the p complement set will be 8 and 10 clear now p minus q union of r so whenever such a question comes we'll first deal with the bracket okay so first let's find out q union r so let's write it down q union r will be equal to where is the elements of q write it down 5 6 10 
and then union of which set r so r is 5 and 9 so what will the union of these two sets be q union r will be equal to 5 then we have 6 9 and 10 so we have found out the union now we can solve this so p minus q union r will be equal to let's write the elements of p that is 5 6 7 9 minus the elements of q union r what are they 5 6 9 and 10 now if when we find the difference it means what we'll just take the elements that are present only in the first set or here in this case the elements that are only present in set p so therefore p minus q union r will be equal to let's see what is present only in p here 5 is present so we cannot take 5 6 is also present there and 9 is also present there so we cannot take only 7 is not present so 7 will be the element of or this set will include one element which is 7 clear okay next let universal set be u you know this is another symbol for universal set so you can say I say here x such that x belongs to w means whole numbers and x is less than 9 also a is equal to factors of 6 and b are the factors of 8 then verify a intersection b complement and a complement union b complement that they both are equal but before doing that here the sets are not represented in the roster form they are given in the set builder form so first we need to find the universal set the and the other sets in the roster form let's do it so universal set will be equal to what x such that x belongs to whole numbers and x is less than 9 now we know that whole number starts from 0 and x is less than 9 so we can say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that's all because it is less than 9 so these are the elements of the universal set now let's write the element for set a which will be equal to factors of 6 now factors of 6 means the numbers which can divide 6 so by 1 we can divide 6 1 6, one, six times then 2 3 times then 3 then 4 no 5 no then 6 itself as we all know that the smallest factor of a number is 1 and the largest factor of a number is the number itself now we can write the elements of set B here. So it, they are the factors of 8. So 1 can go in 8. 2 4 is 8. 4 2 is 8. Then 5 6 no. Then 8 itself. So now we have presented the sets in the roster form. Now we will be able to verify this. Now let's take the left hand side first which is A intersection B 
complement so for finding the complement first we need to find the intersection let's find the intersection first so a intersection b is equal to where what is the what are the elements of a 1 2 3 6 7 8 9 and what are the elements of b 1 2 4 and 8 so intersection means intersection b means the element which is common in both the set so here we have one common then two is also common and no other element so we can say one and two are the elements for a intersection b now once we have found a intersection b now we can find a intersection b complement now what is a intersection b complement remember mathematically we can express it as universal set minus the set given that is a intersection b so what was a intersection b 1 and 2 an universal set that is 0 to 9 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 minus a intersection that is 1 and 2 so here we just have to take the elements that are present only in the universal set and not in the intersection of a and b you have to exclude these elements so a intersection b complement will be equal to 0 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 8 clear now let's solve for the right hand side okay so r h s so right hand side what we have a complement union b complement so first let's find a complement so a complement will be equal to universal set minus the elements that are present in a so what is the universal set 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight minus sorry 8 minus the elements of a that are 1 2 3 6 so let's subtract it means the elements that are present only in the universal and not in the set a So excluding these sets so 1 2 then 3 and 6 will not take so a complement will be 0 4 5 7 and 8 now let's find out b complement so b complement will be equal to universal set minus b so elements of universal set 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 and 8 minus the elements of set b 1 2 4 8 so b complement will be let's exclude the elements 
at present in set B. So that is one, two, four, and eight. So we can say the elements of B complement are zero, three, five, six, and seven. Okay, so we have got our A complement and we have got our B complement. Now we have to find the union of these two sets. So let me erase this and we'll work it out again. So let's find out the union of these two sets. Is a complement union B complement so let's write down first A complement that is 0 4 5 7 and 8 next union of B complement that is 0 3, 5, 6, 7. So union means either or in both. So 0 is here in both. Then we can take 3, then 4, then 5 then 6 7 and 8 so we have got a complement union b complement for the rhs or the right hand side so now let's look at the left hand side elements of a intersection b complement 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and let's look at the elements of A complement union B complement 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so we observe that both the left hand side and the right hand side are equal so we can say therefore LHS is equal to RHS which implies that a intersection B complement is equal to the right hand side that is A complement union B complement here yeah? so we can say hence verified clear yeah? So that's all for today's lesson, thank you.